We sing lots of songs in church. Do you ever wonder who wrote them? Well, there's one lady who wrote many of the songs we sing in church. Her name is Fanny Crosby. She was born in 1820 near New York. Let's hear a bit more about her life. When she was a little baby, she was very sick. She had an eye infection. Unfortunately, the family doctor was away, so the family went to another man who claimed to be a real doctor, and he said the cure was to spread mustard paste on her eyes. The little baby cried in pain. They soon realised that this dodgy doctor's treatment had left their daughter blind for the rest of her life. When she was still very young, her father died, and so her mother was forced to find work as a maid to support the family. And so Crosby was mostly raised by her grandmother. They enjoyed going to the woods, and she listened to her grandmother describing the birds to her as she memorised each of their songs. Despite her blindness, she was really happy, and her favourite thing was to write poems. She wrote her first poem at the age of eight. She said this, Oh, what a happy soul I am, although I cannot see. I am resolved that in this world, happy I will be. How many blessings I enjoy that other people don't. To weep and sigh because I'm blind, I cannot and I won't. We sometimes try and remember Bible verses in church. Fanny Crosby was very good at remembering verses. Her neighbour, a lady called Mrs Hawley, offered to read the Bible to her. And because of her amazing memory, by the time that she was 10 years old, Fanny Crosby had memorised eight full books of the Bible. Isn't that amazing? Aged 14, she was accepted at the Institute for the Blind, which was a special school for those who couldn't see. And she enjoyed her time there and she made lots of friends. She was very popular at school. She played uh, many instruments. She sang and she made up jokes and she wrote lots of poems there too. And after she left as a pupil, she came back to teach there. And during this time, people began to realise how talented she was as a poet, someone who writes poetry. She had the opportunity to perform some of her poetry to lots of very important people. When she was 38, she married a man named Alexander van Alstein, who she would call Van for short. Like herself, he was blind. Now, Fanny Crosby wrote poems about all sorts of things. But one day she met a man called William Bradbury, who wrote hymns and also printed other people's hymns in books. He was unhappy with the quality of many of the hymns that were being sent to him. And he heard of her talent. After reading some of her poems, he asked if she would try writing hymns. She immediately went about it and loved it. She was so excited that she could use her talent with words to tell others about Jesus. William was impressed and quickly hired her to write hymns for his company. From that day on, she only wrote hymns. She loved nothing more than writing songs about Jesus and all that he had done for her and for other people. Her husband, Van, was a very good organ player and sometimes wrote music to her words. She wrote thousands and thousands of hymns and was paid well for her work, but she gave away anything that was not necessary to their daily survival. They just lived in a, in a small, cramped apartment in Manhattan's Lower East Side in New York. Uh, this was one of New York's poorest areas, but she did this because she wanted to help as many people as she could. While living here, she met a man called Jerry McCauley, a man who had been in prison, but who had become a Christian and was now a preacher. He wanted to help those who struggled with drugs and who were violent, as he had once been. So Fanny Crosby would speak and give advice to those that she met at Jerry's meetings. You see, this was a woman who had never complained when things got difficult. She was blind, but her eyes were open to what God had done for her. She used her talent to sing his praise. She died peacefully, aged 94, in her sleep. This is what she said about her life. When my life work is ended and I cross the swelling tide, when the bright and glorious morning I shall see, I shall know my Redeemer when I reach the other side and his smile will be the first to welcome me. I shall know him, I shall know him, and redeemed by his side I shall stand. I shall know him, I shall know him, by the print of the nails in his hand. Fanny Crosby truly did know who Jesus was, and that knowledge is clear from the way she lived her life. Here are some words from one of her most famous hymns. All the way my Saviour leads me, what have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his faithful mercies, 
who through life has been my guide, heavenly peace, divinest comfort, ere by faith in him to dwell, for I know whatever happens, Jesus does all things well.